Hi, I'm Indy, and I'm going to show you how to build two different acro traps that I think you might enjoy that I use very often in my games. This is a metal trap, and you will need 12 square foundations, six triangle foundations, 34 pillars, and four sloped roof pieces. Alternatively, you can use one two six wood triangle foundations instead of metal as they are not essential for the trap, just the placement of the square foundations. You can start building the trap either using square or triangle foundations. It doesn't really matter, but it will be two squares and one triangle. At this point, if you don't want to use metal triangle foundations, go ahead and start adding your wooden ones. It's a shame that there are no thatch triangle foundations, but you know what? We work with what we got here. Now you will go around and add your first layer of pillars. Be sure that your pillars are aligned with your square foundations so that they are facing you as you're placing them. If you leave triangles, Make sure they're not aligned with the triangle, otherwise they'll be at a different angle and it'll be harder to put the rest of your pillars later. The vertical pillars will be two pillars high. Go around and add one more row of pillars on top of those that you just set down. Next, you'll use horizontal pillars to connect vertical ones you have just built. They'll go over your square foundations. This will make five gate-like openings but you will not fill in the sixth one. Above the sixth opening, you'll build your ramp, but you must use a stair structure as creatures seem to more readily run upstairs than they will ramps. There are no horizontal pillars at the top because it may prevent your survivor from running over and the acro will have a chance to get them. Now I'm sure you're thinking, hey Indy, this is such an expensive trap. What if I just make it half as tall to save metal? Hmm, yes, you could catch the acro if you made the trap half as tall, but any deviation in the terrain could boost the acro right out of the trap, rendering the whole build useless. Plus, it could simply walk over it and make it harder to fill into the center. So two pillars high just works. One major reason why the trap is large and not simply metal dinosaur gates arranged with bear traps is that the acro can damage metal during taming. And with multiple pillars, the damage is distributed through multiple structures, as opposed to the few dino gates. You can move him around so he's not damaging a single point. The trap lasts much longer if the taming process is exceptionally difficult. Is the first trap too big? Need something lighter that's easier to carry and build? I got you, bud. Check out this skimpy little number. Ooh, girl. This trap only requires 18 metal pillars and four sloped roof pieces that you will use as stairs. Only stairs. This will be a visual demonstration because I'm not really sure how to explain it. I feel like I would not be good at that. So this is just step by step what to build in order to continue going forward and which pieces to take away as you go. Now, the three pillars high that are opposite of the ramp are very important because this is like your backboard so that the acro doesn't just fly right over or walk over it. It's gonna bump into it and fall down. 
These traps are originally meant to be permanent structures. But this one in particular, you can take down and move around. Just make sure that you repair the metal after you've tamed in it because they will get damaged if the acro hits them and then you'll have a big mess. We don't want that. Anyway, those are my traps. If you use them, I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Bye.